Hello everyone, this is the official LEGO Star Wars Darth Vader mech set. And this is my version. Right off the bat, I want to be clear that this is not a fair comparison. LEGO set designers have a budget that they need to stay within and durability and playability requirements they need to meet. If they were allowed to build something like this, I have no doubt they would. And without a doubt, they would do a much better job than I have. All that being said, let's get into what I changed because it is quite a lot. I knew I wanted to still use this big starter piece from the original set because one, it really is a good starting point, and two, because I want this to be a revamp and not just a straight up original mock. I also knew that the larger, heavier style of ball joints were going to be a must, and that meant using a larger bracket to keep them secure. I also made sure to include exactly one of the original set's dark red plates as a little easter egg. I kept the original chest piece for a cockpit, but closed up the sides around it, and I tried to still leave room for the minifig's cape, but it's not perfect. But really, I don't think this is any worse for the cape than the original cockpit design was, so I'm okay with it. The original mech actually has a pretty decent shape for Vader's belt, so I didn't feel the need to change that up too much. However, this set did include this new wedge piece that I knew would be perfect for Vader's crotch armor, which is something I never thought I would spend any time thinking about, but here we are. Overall, a good start. Next up were his legs, and they obviously needed a lot more work. I understand why LEGO mechs usually don't include knees, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. So first, I used the newer version of the large ball joint and combined it with a grill piece to create a suggestion of Vader's weird leather corduroy pants, which I believe is what the original designer was also trying to do here. Once the thighs were done, I used some rounded plates to create knees and added a bar through them for extra strength. The shins I modeled after Vader's boots, believe it or not, and again, that new wedge plate came in handy for capturing that really smooth, pointed shape that they have. Rather than use the original set's enormous clown feet, I took a design that I had previously used years before and reused it here. I think it makes a pretty solid boot altogether. Alright, now I know Vader is supposed to be strong, but I do not remember him being this swole. Like, what even is this? Is this how Kylo Ren imagines him? The shoulders needed to be slimmed down to the size of a man who isn't smuggling watermelons into a movie theater. These inverted round tiles look just fine, I think. I also used those grill pieces again and probably should have used them on the forearms as well, but I just did not like how it looked, so smooth tiles it is. The lightsaber on the original mech was built into his hand, so I felt okay doing the same thing on my version, but I did bulk up the hilt and add some black to make it look a bit more like the source material. The other hand is pretty similar, but it has a clip that can be used to hold the minifig's lightsaber, and it also looks pretty okay in the force choke pose, if you ask me. Now all this is well and good so far, but the absolute number one priority of this whole project was to give Vader his cape. After all, Vader just isn't Vader without a cape. I thought the cape from the buildable Batman figure would work, but it turns out I severely underestimated how tall that figure was. So instead, I found a way to attach two rolls of the smaller tread pieces to Vader's back. This obviously fits better, but then I thought they allowed too much light through, so I just added more. It's still not perfect, but two rows of double stack treads give the cape a look and a presence that I'm pretty satisfied with. It also gives him a cape, which is more than the original did, so it is literally better than nothing. Of course, Vader's actual cape is much bigger than this and much less made of tank wheels, but since this is technically still a mech and not the actual guy, I can be okay with the cape looking more mechanical than cloth. And there he is. I started this project because I like mechs and saw a mech-based set that I thought I could have some fun with. But as soon as it was finished, I was reminded that I actually really like LEGO Star Wars. Darth Vader is cool, man, and it makes me really happy to basically have my very own homemade action figure of him. He looks menacing, he poses pretty good, and in my opinion, his head only kinda looks too small for his body. And did I mention he has storage for his lightsaber? I left a room on his belt to hold onto the minifig hilt, and the blade is stored around his back in true LEGO Star Wars fashion. And that is my version of the Darth Vader LEGO Star Wars mech suit. I don't know, do I do the Stormtrooper and the Boba Fett after this? Because this one was pretty fun. As always, if you like this build and you want to support my channel, you can find the instructions over on my pay hit page, which is linked in my description as well as my pinned comment down below. I've been Mindbender, and I will talk to you later.